the economy is in a constant state of change. New highs can become new lows overnight and this volatility can instill fear about the oncoming recession. Online business owners are not immune to economic downturns, but there are concrete actions that you can take to secure your business ahead of time. The key is incorporating uncommon strategies into your mode of operations so that if a recession hits, you are prepared for it. If you spend ample time on social media, a quick scroll through your newsfeed will have you anxiously gripping your computer mouse and googling ways to recession-proof your business. Why? Because there are so many things going on in the economies of many nations. Let's be clear, we are not predicting a recession, but it does not hurt to be prepared just in case. What does that mean exactly? A recession is a widespread, consequential economic downturn that persists for months or longer. To be recession-proof simply means looking for ways to ensure that assets, companies, industries or other entities do not decline in value during a recession. In this video, we will outline what you need to know to stay several steps ahead and minimize any damage in the event of a widespread financial contraction. Here are some strategies to help you stay afloat even in tough economic climates. Secure capital before you need it. Having cash reserves and other financing options to fall back on once a recession hits is a great tool to stay afloat. According to A.A. Lifshitz, Flexible working capital will be the single most important factor to help keep doors open. While acquiring capital may be a challenge once a recession hits, there is still time to enact this strategy. Raising capital has become much easier today for small business owners. Banks are easing credit and fintech startups are expanding online lending options. So securing capital at a time when the future is unclear would be a smart move. Maximize customer lifetime value During a recession, it is more important than ever to double down on improving customer needs. Everyone, especially shoppers on your site, need less stress and more delight when times are tough. If someone has a pleasant experience buying and using your product, they are much more likely to become customers for life. Not only that, but the chance that they leave a positive review and spread the word among friends and family increases as well. This kind of organic support is exactly what you need to sustain your operations during tough times. There are many actionable steps that you can take to boost customer loyalty. For one, you can focus on optimizing your sales funnel and customer touch points and in doing so, ensure each one is making an impact and enticing your prospective buyers. In a bad economy where most online businesses are struggling, your ability to use data and personalized marketing to retain customers can set you apart and make all of the difference to your bottom line. By discovering customers' pain points and better accommodating their needs, you will see more sales and increased loyalty. Plus, your cash flow will also thank you if a recession rolls around. Keep a close eye on cash flow. Consumers save more and spend less in a recession, meaning businesses might generate lower revenues on products or services. Managing your business's cash flow is critical during times of uncertainty and many small businesses fail because they do not control it properly. One way to protect your cash flow is to send out invoices and review your receivables promptly. In doing so, you might notice that some clients consistently make overdue payments or are obviously overdue. Resolve these issues before they become lingering problems. Be smart about debt. As a small business owner, you may see massive corporations taking on huge amounts of money in debt and assume those companies are struggling to survive. In truth, they are typically using that money to grow their operations. The trick to financing is to maintain a healthy level of business debt, which many small businesses find difficult. Small businesses do not have the same backing or fat pockets as their larger counterparts, so you need to be more cautious about racking up more debt than you can handle. Use data to optimize conversions. In a recession, your business should not spend on paid advertisement to bring traffic to your website. Instead, focus on what you can do to improve your current website experience for users and customers. Put data collection and analysis processes in place to optimize your website conversion rate before a recession kicks into gear. This means looking closely at your quantitative data, the numbers that tell you what is happening, and the qualitative data, the words and descriptions that tell you why. 
By continually asking why, you will dig deeper into the product experience. Any issues you fix will improve the customer experience and conversion rates, so you will have more repeat customers and cash inflow in case a recession strikes. Minimize overhead costs. Businesses with huge overhead costs are prone to financial issues during an economic downturn, especially when the expenses do not result in significant sales and business revenue. You can minimize costs by checking if there are operations that should be eliminated or processes that can be improved on with less spending. You need to look at your business critically and devise the most cost-efficient means to keep marketing and improve business operations without negatively affecting product and service quality. Select time-saving tools and automations. You might need to hold off on hiring during a recession, but there is still just as much work to be done. You do not want to add strain and stress by upping the workload of your existing employees, so it's time to get creative. Even in a hiring freeze, you can boost productivity and efficiency across the board from data analysis to marketing with the right tools. There are many new tools to streamline estimating, invoicing and bookkeeping that will save you time and money. Take time to explore options that fit your business and spend more time building on them. Double check your inventory management processes. Inventory management is simply talking about the process of ordering, storing, using and selling a company's list items at hand. Doing things the same way for years on end might seem convenient but it is not necessarily cost efficient. While you are reviewing your receivables, spend time examining your inventory practices. Are you ordering excessive quantities of certain items? Could you buy certain products at better prices from different vendors? There are many ways to cut costs, so do not get caught up by doing things one way because it's what you are used to. Master your core competencies. Core competency refers to a company's set of skills or experience in some activity rather than physical or financial assets. It is never a bad idea to diversify your online business, but simply adding products or services for the sake of doing something new is not the best strategy. Even during an economic boom, attempts to break into new sectors can damage your core operations by siphoning away valuable time and money. Instead of potentially damaging your company by veering away from what your business does best, focus on your core competencies. Talk to your partners and suppliers now. As a business owner, getting ahead of the problem as quickly as possible is the safest way to protect your company. However, remember that your business partners and suppliers also contribute to the smooth running of your business and it is essential that you are on the same page as regards of forthcoming recession. Talking to your partners and suppliers ahead of time is important. By doing so, you are easily able to seek out ways that you can do business better. Keep a pulse on those that help your business grow, partner with the right online partners as well as identify potential pitfalls on time. Never stop marketing your business. Regardless of the economic state, never stop marketing your business. If consumers do not know about your company, they cannot do business with you. A lean market allows you to distinguish yourself from other businesses by emphasizing your superior product or outstanding customer service. Explore paid marketing efforts as well as less expensive routes, particularly social media and video sites. Platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok offer excellent ways to draw consumer attention rapidly. Remember, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. Being prepared is key to attaining success. Anticipating the worst and implementing measures to overcome hurdles will help your online business beat common challenges in the face of an economic recession. Safeguarding your business is an important step and you can take another one by watching this next video to see when a recession might hit.